well i have freshly washed straight hair and as in just left to dry naturally i need to leave very quickly and i don't want to do any heat products on it so i'm just going to put it up as quickly as possible but it hasn't got a lot of product in it so it's pretty smooth and slippery so i'm just going to pop through some charles wellington volume and bounce texturizing spray which does work wonders not a dry shampoo that will only weigh your hair down it actually is a fibrizing texturizing spray so it's like a hairspray but it kind of gives it a lot of grip and body and sort of texture it makes it kind of crispy i'm gonna part my hair my usual way a bit back to front i'm sort of because i'm looking everything back to front and feel like i'm back to front and i'm going to start twisting it back so but i'm going to make sure the top the back and the sides are smooth that'll just make it easier to twist take sections i'm just going to give them a little gentle back home nothing too full on i know this is probably just as bad for it as putting a curler through it but girls gotta do i'm gonna walk to work in a minute so i want it out of my face out of the way so i can get my stomp on so now I'm going to get some Kirby grips that I've got beside me in my little personal tin of absolute crap. Um, not crap, all hair things and a Spice Girls badge. Very important. Um, and start putting some Kirby grips in. Okay, here we go. Did you know as well, Kirby grips should be uh, placed against the head with the ridgy side against the scalp. So... This side here should actually be against the scalp. That's meant to grip it in. I don't even know whether I do that, even though I know that as a fact. Do I do that to other people? Probably not. I'll probably put it in the flat way because it's no smoother. So I'm twisting and gripping and I'm going to go all the way around my head to do that. And I'm gonna, just going to brush as I'm going around just to make sure it stays not too neat. I don't mind a few finger marks at the top. Um, not too not neat. God, I'm not even talking properly. Um, do you know what? I'm feeling really all over the place because I've sat in my house for two hours and I have just gone back and forth with work and emails and flights and trains and texts and swapping days and moving days and which is affecting social things. And that's really been spinning me out. And I had a coffee while I was doing it, which is probably a terrible idea. And I got up really early and did exercise and ran around and I think it's just made me brrr. anyway I'm gonna keep turning <laughs> trying to turn as I do it so you can see what I'm doing I'm taking sections I'm just twisting them around my figure finger and up into that kind of um kind of sausage shape I hope you can still hear me How does that look at the back? I can't imagine it looks fantastic. I'm also feeling like it's quite slippery, but I don't really mind if it's a bit messy. I just want some height at the front and I want to get it up off my face. I guess it's kind of a vintage look, isn't it really? So yeah, it feels like the past few weeks have just been about moving and changing and swapping and juggling. And it always affects social things as well. And then you've got to decide, you know, what's winning, the social thing you've got booked or, you know, do you want to earn money, which will pay for future social things. Most of the time I keep the social things, but sometimes it's a huge job, a new client and you're just torn. Anyway, so that's my hair. Kind of vintage, kind of up out the way. I might put a red lip on with that when I get changed, get a bit of cleave out. And maybe I'm just going to give it a final spray. Probably I'd use a hairspray, but of course I haven't got it with me, so I'm going to use a bit of this. Pull a few little bits out, I suppose, if you wanted it to look like kind of a bit more um, ethereal and a bit more, oh, sod's law, a bit more messy. 
bit bridesmaidy, isn't it? Oh well, that's my look for today.